Hey guys, so in this video we want to have a look at the surface area of a cube. So the surface area of a shape, or of any shape, which I'll write as SA, is just the total amount of space that that shape touches, or the total amount of area that the faces of that shape cover. So when we're looking at a cube, uh, we have six faces. So I've drawn them down here, and you can see that the top of the cube is green, the bottom of the cube is green, and then we've got these four faces around the outside which are pink. So we can kind of flatten out our cube so it's easier for us to work out the surface area, remembering that the surface area is just this total area of all the faces. Of all faces. So because we're a cube, we know we're going to have to have six squares. So I can draw that now, and I'll just show you exactly how this cube would look if it wasn't 3D, but we just flattened it out and it was just a 2D shape. So we know there'd be six faces, and we know two would be green, and then the remainder would be pink. And you can kind of see that here, is that if I flatten out this shape into a... 2D shape, there's going to be six pink faces, and then there's going to be these two green faces, which were the top and the bottom. So the surface area is just the total area that these six faces cover. And say this was a cube where we had side lengths of two meters, so we'd know that the length of all of the sides, because it's a cube, therefore must be two meters. So we'd have 2 meters there, 2 meters there, 2 meters there, 2 meters there, and every single side would need to be of length 2 meters. So if we come over to this uh, flattened out cube, which is a 2D cube, we know that that side must be 2 meters, this side must be 2 meters, and any side which we have must be 2 meters in length. So then, to work out the total surface area of a cube, we basically just have six, six separate squares, and all we need to do is work out the area of these six separate squares and then add them together. So the way we would start doing this is we would say, okay, so we have a two meter side here and a two meter side here. We can work out the area of this first square, area just being the amount of space it covers. And if we work that out, remember, because this is a square, we can have length squared or our length times our length and they're the same, so it's just going to be 2 times 2, and that's going to give us 4 meters. Remember, our units are meters squared. So we can work out the area of one of these faces, and we know that they're all the same. So the area of the top is going to be 4 meters, and because all of our squares are the same, they all have this 2 meter by 2 meter length, we then know that the area of this square here is going to be 2 meters times 2 meters, so it's also going to be 4 meters squared. This square here is going to be 2 meters times 2 meters. It's going to be 4 meters squared. This next one is going to be 4 meters squared, and so on. All of the squares, the six squares, have an area of 4 meters squared. But then what we have said is that the surface area or the total surface area is the amount that all of the squares cover together. So, in order to get the total surface area, which I'll just call TSA for short, what we do is we add up the areas of all of the six faces. So, for our two green squares, our top and our bottom, it's going to be four meters squared. So we have that times two. And for our other pink squares, it's also going to be 4 meters squared. And we have 4 pink squares. So we can see we have 4 meters squared, 4 meters squared, 4 meters squared, so 6 times 4 meters squared. We can work out our total surface area is going to be the sum of all of those, so 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, plus 4 is 24 meters squared. So that's going to be the total surface area of our cube with a 2 meter side length. Another way we could look at it, and a really simple way, is we know if all of the faces have the same area, then what it's going to be is it will be 6 
times by the area of one face. Of one face. So we can just do that really quickly. It could be six times this top area, so six times by four meters squared, which is the area of our top top side. So it's going to be twenty-four meters squared. So that is how you work out the surface area of the cube. I'll put up some questions for you. Thanks, guys.